represent the NFC in the Super Bowl in two weeks' time. Which will it be as we're underway in the NFC title game? And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And some space here. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because Di made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. football the ball comes out and the Cowboys have recovered we have seen this before and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time catch the ball you know there's going to be some traffic somewhere they've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield so Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23 Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it seeing so far when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers you're exactly right it could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage big play for the cowboys on third 51 yards one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game give him 10 yards on the pickup and that'll make it second and a foot or so 10 yards on the pickup it's second and inches throwing Prescott and this is caught it's Cooper and he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. It will stop him before he can get a good head of steam going. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. They'll try to run it in the and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll make it third and goal. Here's Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead part of the game other teams I script to attack they've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one Sirline connects on the extra point and that makes the score seven nothing Greg Sirline to kick off for Dallas now 
after the touchdown it's Zerline he'll kick it away here's Jarvis Landry now on the return and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 the Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 27 yard line The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The last run got a couple, here's second and eight. Play action, here's Hertz. Eluding the pressure right. He's gonna take off with it. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier in this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete, right around the eight. And yeah, the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll run it with Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He's back to throw here to start the drive. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. This is Elliott, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This defense is really floating around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. It'll 
be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Being chased out left. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry, 85 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot at a big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Uses the spin. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs is short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. 32 yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and 10. Now Prescott. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. He got outside the pocket there trying to improvise, and he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open. I think the quarterback spotted him too late. And that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Brings up second and 10 at the 46-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. They'll roll him out right. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. The ball is out. Kamara fumbled it. And the Cowboys have recovered. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. Buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now Elliott. And this will be stopped at the 44. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Elliott. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. That type of run right there, that just fires me up when I watch it because that's maybe the most underrated aspect of his game. 
the ability to break tackles and know where the first down chains are and pick them up. He's tough, good pedigree. Dad Stacy was a linebacker at Missouri.